is issue this command, and instead of putting this vector in here, just put in x1 if you want to do the small membranes, or x2 for the big membrane, and then the medium membranes, or x3, and you'll get this information compared to the claims. That's what you got to do. All right? And I'll set up here if you have any trouble, let me know. Yeah. You don't have spreadsheets up there. Okay. The alpha points don't want to fit. When you use MATLAB, you put 0.05. That's the same way.
is everyone everyone having success, I guess? Utterly trivial, right? So since everyone seems to be so successful here, I just show you the answer, not that you didn't get it yourself, because I'm sure you did. So it's a it's an exercise in repetitiveness, right? So you just take the command I I issued, cut and paste it. You want to replace that vector I had with x1 with you know got a 95% confidence interval. You'll get these values here. And uh, so the claim here was right. The claim was that the, that the mean pore size was 50. This again is not a hypothesis test, but 50 is definitely not in the 95% confidence interval. So I, I'd be a little suspicious of that. Yeah. This can be a matrix or not, I guess it's not. Like, you talking about doing it for, you're talking about, oh, we do all the at the same time. Okay. All right. So back to this. So 50 is not in there, so we're a little suspicious. He also claimed, I thought, I thought he claimed, I thought he claimed five here. Is that what I said it was? Oh, 2.5, okay, so 2.5 is not in there, so we're a little suspicious of that claim. This is the medium-sized membranes. Again, the mean was claimed to be 75%, it's not, so we're suspicious of that. The standard deviation was assumed to be, was uh, five. It appears that it's actually less than the claim. That's not a hypothesis of those, but I mean, so we're not so concerned about that. But we're we're, develop, we're we're getting an idea that the manufacturer is a pathological liar at this point. So we go to the large membranes. We calculate the confidence interval again. Was I think it's 125. It's not in there. And then the, actually the value, the claim value of the standard deviation is actually in there. So maybe that's true. But um, again, I didn't want I don't want you to 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 think this is a substitute for hypothesis testing. It's just the best problem I could kind of formulate. Given, given some spreadsheet I had available, things like that. But it gives you some idea how to calculate the comp interval. Yeah? Is there a way to check the value of the mean one and within that range value and just have a control that? Yeah, if you, I mean, strictly speaking, we should do a hypothesis with them, but um, I don't know how to use the, the comp interval thing to see if the, I mean, I'm just doing it visually. I guess there'd be some way to automate it. So one of the one of the things that came up was, and somebody did it, so I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, you can blame this person. If it doesn't work, I'll show you who they are. Um, but the claim is that you could do all these calculations at once. Oh, I don't even have an X. Well, hold on. So I guess I didn't create X1. I've got so many different X1s, whatever. What was it again? It was this, I think? Okay. That's all right. So here's another way to do it, actually, just to further punish myself. You could do this. And then you could create something called, uh, I don't know, data if you want. That could be, a, um, could be the X values. So it would be all columns, but just rows I mean, it's all rows, but just columns two through four. Just get rid of the first column, because that's the number of experiments you don't want that. So now it looks like that. And now supposedly, if I issue this command with just x, it's going to take each data set independently. I may need to use x prime. I'm not sure. Is that what I called it? All right. <laughs> And so supposedly it'll take each data set and it'll calculate three sets of everything. Let's just see. 
and it did, right? So I calculated for each one the mu hat, the sigma hat, and then the confidence intervals for all of them in one felt swoop, I believe is the term. All right. So if you if you want to avoid doing these calculations one by one, you can do you can do all them all at one time if you choose. Okay. All right. So that's the end of your MATLAB exercise today. Um, good luck to all of you. Uh, see you tomorrow.